We remember Eddie Lowry as Francis We Met's famous caddy. But that was only the beginning of his fantastic journey into the world of golf. Growing up in Newton, Eddie was one of seven children from a poor family. As an escape, he and his brothers began caddying at nearby Woodland Country Club, home to Francis We Met. When the U.S. Open came to Boston in 1913, 10-year-old Eddie and his older brother Jack skipped school to caddy at the tournament. After being caught playing hooky, Jack went back to school. But Eddie headed straight to the country club to sub for his brother as caddy for Francis We Met. He was a little kid with a lot of pluck, and the advice he gave to the 20-year-old We Met was, keep your head down. Together, they overcame the odds and made it to a playoff in the Open against the best in the world, Britain's Harry Barton and Ted Ray. Francis and Eddie won that playoff and made golf history. And in the process, Eddie became a local celebrity. Now, this is where the rest of the story starts. In a few short years, Eddie became a fine tournament player himself. At 16, he won the 1919 Massachusetts Junior Championship. He defended his title in 1920. However, passion for the game was not limited to the golf course. In his late teens, he transferred his love of the game into a paying job as a sports writer for the Boston Traveler, covering golf events of the time. During this time, Eddie continued to rise up the amateur ranks, winning the Mass Am in 1927, and returned to the finals in 1931 and 1933. In 1937, Eddie moved to California, beginning the next chapter of his life as a successful businessman when he bought into the Van Etta Motors. He built the Lincoln Mercury dealership into the largest in America. His success in business was only matched by his passion for golf. At the first Bing Crosby Pro-Am in 1937, Eddie met Byron Nelson and a great friendship was started. The team of Lowry and Nelson played in the Crosby every year and won it in 1955 when Eddie, then a six handicapper, helped Byron 12 shots on the final day to win it. A regular at both the U.S. and British amateurs, Eddie reached one of the highest points in amateur golf at the British Amateur in 1948. After playing to a tie through 18, he was faced with a dilemma of having a stymie on the 19th. After several minutes, he grabbed an iron and he chipped the ball in. He then won the match on the 20th with a birdie. While playing golf was a passion, promoting golf was his mission. Throughout the years, Eddie became involved in the California golf scene, winning several club championships, eventually becoming president of Northern California Golf Association. Ultimately, he was elected to the USGA Executive Committee. That was a great honor to be proud of. Remembering the chances he had been given, Eddie always kept an eye out for promising young players, giving players like Tony Lima and Bob Rosberg chances to succeed. And then Eddie met a young Ken Venturi, took him under his wing, and introduced him to Byron Nelson. Under the tutelage of Lowry and Nelson, Venturi blossomed. Eddie was considered a phenomenal sand player, and Venturi had said Eddie Lowry taught him most of what he knows about playing out of the sand. Always the competitor, Eddie continued to challenge at the tournaments in his later years, reaching a semifinals of the U.S. Seniors at Oyster Harbors in 1960. At age 73, Eddie was the president of the Seniors Amateur Golfer Society and got a hole in one. The next year, he broke his age when he shot a 73 at age 74. Eddie's ties to Francis We Met were lifelong. At the 1960 U.S. Open, the amateur and his caddy reunited at the spot they had celebrated victory 50 years earlier. Throughout the years, Eddie supported Francis We Met tirelessly. He was a contributor of the painting of Francis at the We Met Room at the USGA Museum. And after Francis died, Eddie was a special player in the first few We Met Memorial Tournaments at Woodland, where it all began. He was also a frequent contributor to the We Met Fund and a sponsor of the We Met Museum. 
Eddie's widow, Margaret, endowed a We Met scholarship in his name for the fund's best caddy. Moreover, since the passing of Mrs. Lowry, the fund has endowed a Margaret Lowry scholarship in her honor. Today, the spirits of Eddie and Francis live on. In 1999, life-sized statues of Francis and Eddie were unveiled at the World Golf Hall of Fame and also in Brookline. And the Eddie Lowry Senior Division was created within the We Met Tournament. A friend of champions, stars, and presidents, the 10-year-old caddy from Newton rose to the pinnacle of golf on two coasts and will forever be linked with Francis we met. Mm -hmm.